What's the worst nickname for a man's penis? Microsoft. Depressing, but accurate. Nemo. Penis dick cuntbersnatch. The mighty millimeter. I use the angry inch. Dill don't. Princess Sophia. No no, more like, curl the warrior king. Captain Bird's eye, because it looks like it's wearing a polar neck and winking at you. Little guy. Ah, he's shy. Beatrice, my ex called it this and I went soft almost every time she used the nickname. Zero tenths. Jellybean. What historical event has not, but should be, made into a movie? The story of the Panem flight that got caught in New Zealand at the start of World War II and couldn't fly back home by going east because it was too dangerous. So instead they took their flying boat and flew west on routes they had to figure out from maps pulled from borrowed encyclopedias, dodging the Japanese, and trying to find enough fool to keep the plane going. The whole thing took months culminating in taking off from a river in the Congo and having to skim along through a canyon to build up speed since they were too heavy in order to even have a chance of crossing the Atlantic. The whole thing is tailor-made for TV or a film. There's a fantastic book written about the whole story called, The Long Way Home, and was written with the captain of the flight. That time where nothing never happened in 1989 in Beijing, China. What's the worst pickup line you heard and it worked? Went up to a girl with some of her friends, asked her to dance and she said something to the effect of me being too short. My response, oh come on, I lowered my standards, can't you do the same? I went home with one of her friends. Edit. Wow this blew up, thanks y'all. In college at a club, we were talking to a couple of girls and my buddy said to one of them you like apples? She said yes, and he said how about I take you home and fuck the shit out of you. How you like them apples? She went home with him that night. I couldn't believe what I heard, saw. Tim, you big dog you. I became a man that night knowing this. If you are attractive to a woman, you can say almost anything and it doesn't matter, it will work. What life-changing thing can you buy for less than $100? Library card. Gets you access to a ton of books, movies, all sorts of things and they're often free. Just need to live in the area. A condom. 10-foot phone charger cord. If you have gone totally bankrupt and those are your last $100, a gym membership. Gives you a couple of months of access to a locker and a shower for you to find a job in the meanwhile. I got one of those cheese graters with the hand crank, like Olive Garden, pinched fingers pinched fingers pinched fingers pinched fingers. Carbon monoxide detector. Plug it in your bedroom. That way if there's the one one millionth chance your appliance or heater or whatever malfunctions you'll at least wake up before you die from suffocation in your sleep. Edit. I mean wake up before you die so you can leave. The goal is to avoid suffocating. What kind of car would Satan drive? Nissan Altima. A car that only goes 10 miles under the speed limit. So a Prius in the left lane? Rolls Royce Phantom with fire red and black interior. Hell yes. A Tesla converted to run on leaded gas. Antique Chrysler. An antique Chrysler. Hash hash Lamborghini Diablo. Oh shit, forgot all about the Diablo. That has to be one of Satan's cars. Coupe de Ville. Lucifer's car is a tuxedo black 1962, first generation Chevrolet Corvette C1. I mean if you go by the show which I loved lol. Sweet Tooth's ice cream truck from Twisted Metal. The PT Cruiser. 